between Sri Lanka and Australia. I'm Mike Atherton, and with me in the commentary box today is Mel Jones, Ali Mitchell, Ian Healy, and the Silver Fox himself. That's a surprise. I really did believe the obvious choice would have been to throw the ball to your bowlers. But now it's time for the openers to pad up, and it's probably surprised them. The umpire signals that we're ready to go. First ball of the innings about to be bowled. Absolutely nailed it. What a lovely shot. Really good timing out of the middle and it raced to the boundary. Getting nicely settled at the crease now. Would have been really happy with that last shot. Some adjustments to the field. Finch, I don't think, will be too happy with their bowler at the moment. Wait, yep. No! Straight to the fielder. They make it home, but there should never have been the chance for a run out in the first place. Good bit of timing there. There was a bit of width on that, and they've climbed into the shot to send it up and over for six. I'd like to see them aim for the top of off now. As a bowler, you've got to make them play on your terms. Oh my, that's racing away. You can't fault the bowling. Sometimes your opponent is just too good. Wonderful front foot shot, and there was absolutely no point in chasing that. Back to back boundaries. The bowler will be searching for something now. Just a dot ball or two to settle things down. Wow, that's missed the lot. Back go the stumps, missed the straight ball. The first wicket is down, back to the pavilion, and disappointment is etched on their face. Can't believe they got out like that. With the fall of that wicket, we have a new batter at the crease. Sanga will be looking to make a strong start to their innings. Wait, yep. They've picked the gap. Perfect timing. There'll be one run here for them. The and they're away and nicely off the mark. 15. End of the over. 15 runs coming from it. Sri Lanka are 15 for one. Start, the left arm pace bowler is coming into the attack from the university end. Oh. Misses everything. Oh. Had to pull off the big dive to save some certain runs. Did it very well, did the keeper. Yep. 
Super piece of timing. It was a shorter ball, but seen really early, quickly onto the back foot and powered over the boundary for six. Don't mind getting hit for runs. What's important is to focus on getting the next ball right. That went all the way up toward the grandstand for four, driven away nicely. They shouldn't get too discouraged with that last ball. The first step as a bowler is to get the batter playing, which they've managed. If they can find the right spot, the reward will eventually come. Unplayable. Bowler is confident on this one. Tickner comes out to bat in a bit of form, but it'll be interesting to see how they go today. A change to the complexion of this match. Got to get the new batter coming forward early, encouraging them to drive and really attack the stumps. Couldn't have played that any better. It was lovely footwork, a great shot, a glorious shot actually to get back and play it like that. Don't need to do anything special, line and length is the key. Great timing, right off the meat of the bat. Found the gap with ease, wasn't the worst ball you'll see, but it's still raced to the rope. That's the over. Sri Lanka are 34 for one. The right arm pace bowler is coming into the attack from the press box end. Off the body, and they scamper through for a run. Yep. Good running, no bat on it, and they've managed to sneak a single. Yep, edged. Doesn't beat the infield. They're fast between the wickets. Good fielding keeps it close, though. Brilliant bowling. Having got the edge the previous ball, they now know the areas they need to be hitting. Flew away with pace, brilliant timing. Just missed the line, not the worst delivery, but that was dispatched with interest. Everyone just watched that gnaw.
You can see how good this pitch can be for batting. You want the player coming forward, but it's a tight margin. Only a touch full and put away. Not a very smart shot. Got nothing onto it in the end. Right out of the middle. And that was a slow ball and it didn't fool anyone. Got it perfectly off the bat and timed beautifully. A brilliant over for the batting side. Not so for the bowlers. Going with pace now. The new bowler into the attack. on the drive tried to get the drive away timed it poorly lucky to survive Catch it. great shot it was in the air for a long time but four Bounced just inside the rope. A little short on that occasion. Needs to adjust the length slightly to be just a little fuller. Too short on this pitch. And as we've seen already, it makes it very easy to score. That's right out of the middle of the bat. Well, that was just textbook. Finds the space and power to lift that ball over the top, and it just keeps going. That last ball isn't something you'd want to see a repeat of. You don't want to be giving easy runs away. Well, they lose the second wicket. It's a long way back to the sheds. And you can tell they're not happy with that dismissal. Coming to the wicket, they'll be looking to play within the V early and expand as they get settled. Very sweet off the bat, and four all the way. A juicy delivery like that on leg stump isn't going to be missed by this batter. They just put it away. It can be very disheartening seeing good deliveries smacked around. Sometimes you've just got to accept it and move on. Ball. The right armor is coming on to bowl from the press box end.
Nicely played. Managed to get onto the front foot early and just incredible power to loft that one over the boundary. Tried for something a bit different the last ball. The captain shouldn't mind that. If they get it right, they might just get the wicket. Nice shot. Got their head right in line with the ball. A beautiful strike there, down the ground. What else do they have in their bag of tricks? Not much seems to be working at the moment. The captain's going to change things around in the field. Do they go full? Do they go short? A lot to ponder after the boundary. Right off the middle of the bat. That ball has been hit. It's flown into the crowd. To get that much power coming forward on the front foot is ridiculous. Boundary off the last ball. What's to come off this delivery, I wonder? That's right off the meat of the bat. That's what you pay the entrance money for. It's flown into the crowd. A brilliant shot off the front foot. No need to move. A boundary off the last ball. Is it a sign they're trying to push the run rate? Struck it nicely, could go to the boundary. No! And that brings up 50 runs for this batsman. That is an amazing half century, just mammoth stroke making. Such an impressive stint at the crease so far. Well, it's a case of blink and you miss it with this innings. 50 brought up and what a devastating passage of play it's been. Oh my, that's just flown off the middle. Lovely shot, gets on the drive, just powers that over the boundary, wonderful timing. End of the over, 32 off it. Sri Lanka, a 96 for two. And that's the end of the innings. Sri Lanka have set a target of 97 runs. A mountain to climb as the openers come out. The goal will be to get the innings off to a good start, but one of these two surely has to go on to score big. The captain making some adjustments to the field here. First ball, what a start, what a delivery. 